While it's a shame that we live in a world that requires a military, weapons of mass destruction, and nuclear warheads, we could still appreciate the absolute beasts militaries around the world use. Military vehicles possess some incredible abilities, the likes of which you'd see in superhero or Mad Max movies. And to be fair, what some of these vehicles can do would give Iron Man a run for his money. Not all of them have had major success though. Can you guess which of these experiments and tactical vehicles failed? Put your guesses in the comments below and keep watching to find the answer. Welcome back to Forever Green, where today we're going to take a look at 12 incredible military vehicles. Number 12, Crusher. The Crusher is a 13,200 pound off-road unmanned ground combat vehicle. Its unique structure allows it to go absolutely anywhere, rough terrain, wooded slopes, rocky creek beds, and even vertical walls more than four feet high. The robot can turn 180 degrees in place and carry tactical gear of 8,000 pounds. The Crusher is also autonomous, meaning there are no driving controls. But if you're a gamer, you'll have no problem navigating the controls of this vehicle because it literally uses a video game controller. Plus, while you drive the Crusher, it continuously works on taking the easiest and fastest route. So, if you encounter a gorge more than six feet deep, it'll find a way around it. The vehicle is used for a number of missions considered too dangerous for soldiers, like fire support, reconnaissance, or as a supply mule. It can also be used as a medevac since it can go into the battlefield under fire and scoop up any injured soldiers. It has space frames of titanium and skid plates to protect it from heavy blows. It also has a hybrid engine, which allows it to travel several miles on one battery charge. All this so military tasks can be carried out without putting human lives at risk. The diesel engine, which comes from Volkswagen, by the way, then turns on to continue powering the crusher and to recharge the battery module. It also has a 1.9 megapixel color camera, which gives an overall view of the field at four times the resolution of a standard TV set. It can also transmit this data using a 0.62 mile fiber optic cable. Number 11, M104 Wolverine. It may look like an architect's dream and an engineer's nightmare, but this unique and beautiful piece of machinery is as handy as they come. The M104 Wolverine Heavy Assault Bridge is an armored vehicle designed to provide deployable bridge capabilities to help armies cross large bodies of water. The Wolverine passes all speed, mobility, and survivability tests. And what more do you need from a military vehicle? It also features an advanced communication system to keep in contact with field commanders, and it is operated by two crewmen sitting within the hull. The bridge is carried out in two sections, stacked above the hull. Once the site to deploy the bridge is chosen, the vehicle anchors itself in place using a spade. Yep, you heard that right. After that, two sections of the bridge are joined together, extended across the water, and dropped into place. Once the vehicle is across, it merely retrieves it from the other side by reversing the process. The bridge can be launched in under 5 minutes and packed up in less than 10, all without the crewmen ever leaving their cabin. The bridge is also capable of supporting a 70-ton vehicle moving at 10 miles an hour, making it a huge advantage to have for any military. However, the Wolverine itself is unarmed. Number 10. Jabaria Defense Systems Multiple Cradle Launcher There are some names that just strike fear into your heart, and this is one of them. And it's every bit as deadly as it sounds. This 95-foot-long vehicle is particular to the United Arab Emirates Army and is manufactured there too. It consists of 240 tubes and functions as a multiple rocket launcher. The idea was to mount artillery on a single vehicle since the UAE has a relatively smaller military personnel. This vehicle essentially allows three men to do the job where normally 30 would be required. The Jabaria defense system has four rocket launchers attached to the trailer each carrying 60 122mm rockets. The system fires the high-explosive warheads, and the operator can choose how many and which pods he wants to fire. All of them can be fired in under two minutes, making the rate of fire two rounds per second. It was most recently used in the Yemeni Civil War and the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen. After launching the rockets, the vehicle can either relocate and continue firing if there is any payload left or reload in 30 minutes. Number 9. Fennec Named after the Fennec Fox, this curiously low and wide-looking armored reconnaissance vehicle is in service for both the German and Dutch armies. Both countries have deployed the Fennec vehicles to Afghanistan in support of ISAF, 
or the International Security Assistance Force. The prototype of this vehicle was made in April 2000 and finished field trials in 2001. The Netherlands Army ordered 410 cars and the Germans 222. The Fennec has four wheels with a selectable two or four wheel drive with a Dutz diesel engine producing 179 kilowatt giving it a top speed of 71 miles per hour. It doesn't need to go any faster than that. The primary mission equipment is an observation package mounted on an extendable mast. The sensors on it include a thermal imager, daylight camera, and a laser rangefinder. All that combined with the vehicle's navigation system, and the operator can accurately mark targets and pass data to the digital battlefield network. The sensor is also detachable and fixable on a tripod, just in case it's a concealed operation. The vehicle can also be fitted with a 12.7mm machine gun, a Rafael Spike anti-tank missile, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. It is protected all around against 7.62mm rounds and additional armor can be added if required. And if you're worried about it getting hot and stuffy in here, the vehicle also has air conditioning, which provides protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. Number 8. Caspian Sea Monster It's a plane. It's a boat. It's somehow both? The Caspian Sea Monster was an experimental craft developed from 1964 to 1966 when the Soviet Union was looking into airplane-like vehicles that use ground effect to fly several meters above surfaces, mostly bodies of water. It had a wingspan of 123 feet and a length of 302 feet, flying at an altitude of 16 to 33 feet. It could carry far more cargo than a conventional aircraft, unburdened by the need to properly take off and gain altitude, and significantly faster than a ship capable of hitting 300 miles per hour thanks to its 10 jet engines. It was classified as a marine vessel, but it was mostly tested by the Soviet Air Forces. It was discovered by America in 1967, despite their efforts to be under the radar. The discovery happened during the Cold War, and suffice to say, it worried the CIA a bit. After a little digging, they found it to be an unfinished conventional aircraft at best, but it was quickly discovered that the vehicle could not fly high. Unfortunately, it was just too bulky for its own good and never progressed past experimental stages. It eventually crashed, unrecoverable from the ocean depths, thanks to its sheer weight. However, a smaller version was developed and used in the Soviet military. Number 7. M3 Amphibious Rig The M3, much like the M2, was made to traverse roads on its four wheels, deploying two large aluminum platoons for buoyancy on water. It is a self-propelled bridging vehicle used for the projection of tanks across bodies of water. The development of the M3 began in 1982, and a prototype was delivered in 1992, with 64 orders placed by 1994, mostly by the German and British armies. Since then, it has also joined the Taiwan and Singapore armies, but it is believed the Singapore army has a slightly upgraded version called the M3G, which features an armored cabin and an air conditioning system, useful for when it gets hot and stuffy in there. The M3 pretty much operates as a 4x4 vehicle with a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, but in water, it goes at a speed of 14 km per hour. Multiple rigs can be joined together by ramps, and it can form a bridge across the water. Eight of these vehicles will bridge a 100 meter water gap, and other military vehicles like jeeps and tanks can make it across. Number 6. Keeler some military jeeps and vehicles have been put out of date thanks to newer tech. The Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, for example, is pretty much obsolete now thanks to the massive machines carrying their own bridges to allow 60-ton vehicles to cross water. But some have stood the test of time and are used even today despite being made a long time ago. One such vehicle is the Keeler. Keeler is a mine-clearing vehicle developed in Germany. Its main job is to clear a lane through minefields to let soldiers and vehicles pass safely. A deployable mine flail system has been fixed to the front of the vehicle, and it's used to clear both anti-tank and anti-personnel mines. It is fitted with a heavy-duty mine flail, a rotating cylinder mounted between two arms in the front, with two shafts containing 24 chains. What this does is bring down a metal foot, a slab that's the weight and applies the same pressure as a human would, causing the mine to detonate safely. The keeler can quickly clear a lane 15 feet wide and 390 feet long in 10 minutes. It doesn't have any defense weapons of its own, though, except for some smoke grenade dischargers. Number 5. Tupolev TU-160 What's cooler than cars? Well, 
planes, of course. We've seen a failed experiment. Now, let's look at one of the more successful planes out of Russia. The Tupolev Tu-160, or White Swan as she's called, is a supersonic strategic bomber designed by Tupolev Design Bureau in the 1970s. As of 2020, it is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft and the fastest bomber. It is also the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. Despite having a weight of over 242,000 pounds, it can hit an impressive speed of 1,380 miles per hour and soar at a height of over 40,000 feet. It can also lift with it 45 tons of arms. There are currently 16 of these aircraft in service in the military, with all of them seeing regular upgrades to their electronics. Perhaps its only flaw is that they are far from discreet, something you'd want to be if you're planning to sneak into enemy lines. Number 4. BVS-10 Viking With a name like Viking, you already know this vehicle packs a wallop. The Viking is a fully amphibious vehicle, with an articulated steering system typical of all-terrain vehicles. Built by BAE Systems' Swedish subsidiary, Haglunds, the Viking consists of a 2.2-meter, 5-ton front car and 2.1-meter, 3-ton rear car. It'll go through pretty much any terrain you stick in front of it. It can operate in temperatures from minus 46 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius and can brave jungles and Arctic conditions alike. The Vikings were even transported to Amman in 2001, where they were tested in the extremely hot and dry desert conditions. It was quite a hit when it came out, and the UK Ministry of Defense ordered 108 Vikings from BAE Systems. Today, more than 11,000 of these are in service across 40 countries, and all of them will be in service beyond 2031. Alright, it is now time to take a look at today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you find something weird or unexplainable while scrolling the internet, send it over to us and we'll investigate. Today's image comes from a subscriber and it looks like a massive tank. It does look quite impressive, something you'd see in a Star Wars movie. We looked into it and it turns out this is only a 3D model. But don't be disappointed because we have something just as good. Check out our number 3 spot, Navy LCAC. We've seen some pretty impressive planes and 4x4 vehicles, but no ships. If we're going to talk about water vehicles, let's talk about the best one in the game, the Navy LCAC. LCAC stands for Landing Craft Air Cushion, and the cushion helps it glide smoothly over water and land as well. Sure, that's impressive, but what's even more impressive is the inside. This vehicle can transport weapon systems, equipment, cargo, and personnel of marine, air, and ground task force from ship to shore. It can carry a total of 68 tons of cargo, and it can do that faster than you think. Despite being this massive, it moves at a speed of 48 miles per hour. If you're ever faced with a situation where you see the LCAC coming right at you, you might enjoy the view, but you might not enjoy what follows. Before we look at number one, we have a quick challenge for you that you need to complete in just five seconds. Like this video, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell to be notified when we upload next and you'll get whatever you want for Christmas. Try it, it works. All right, let's take a look at the most impressive military vehicle out there. Two, Willys Jeep. What's more iconic than a Humvee? A Willys MB Jeep, of course. The name might not sound like much, but don't let it fool you. Just like the Schwimm wagon, the Willys aren't the most badass looking vehicles, but they played an instrumental role in the Second World War, so it more than deserves a place here. The Jeep became the primary light-wheeled transport vehicle for the U.S. military and its allies. It was also the world's first mass-produced four-wheel drive car, with 650,000 units manufactured. Ford produced another 277,000 units under license. Today, quite ironically, the now-iconic vertical slack grille design still used by Jeep was actually developed by Ford for its GPW version of the Willys Jeep. It used fewer materials and was cheaper to manufacture than the welded flat iron item in the original design, prompting Willys to adopt the design. Number 1. Gerald R. Ford Class Aircraft Carrier Vehicles Armor and tech we see in Marvel and DC movies far outshine what we have in real life, and it's hard to not be a little envious. Well, we've got news for you. The helicarrier from the Avengers movies is a 100% real. The Gerald S. Ford class is an aircraft carrier and represents the largest naval vessel in the world. It's 1,106 feet long and 255 feet wide, giving aircraft enough and more space to take off and land. Its design features include a nuclear reactor designed for power generation, stealth features, 
Though not as invisible as the Helicarrier and the Avengers, advanced arresting gear, missiles, and an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, it can also carry a total of 90 aircraft. How much did this cost the taxpayers, you ask? A whopping $13 billion. We can't make anything close to that, but Marvel can buy one of these ships for their movies without feeling the burn in their pockets. And those were the 10 most amazing military vehicles in the world. Which one did you like best? Let us know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, you could check out others on the Forever Green channel. We have tons of videos just like these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.